It is with the utmost sincerity when I say that I am honored to be able to present Zachary Paul Bell as a candidate for the 2022-2023 St. Edward Man of the Year Award. I have to say this is very difficult to write. Not because it's difficult to find the good in Zach or because his actions are not pure and clear. I find this difficult to write because Zach Bell is an experience. I know that sounds funny, but Zach the person is always caring. Zach the student is constantly evolving to become better. Zach the hockey player was always working to not only better himself, but also better every teammate he has had. It is without a doubt that I can say that Zach has learned the confidence to see and developed the courage to act in order to transform the world. Zach has de developed this ability, not by accident, but through consistent and deliberate effort, optimism, and zeal that he exhibits on a daily basis. There are four pillars that are foundational to the St. Edward's mission and the type of young man that we aim to develop here. These pillars are faith, excellence, relationships, and servant leadership. Zach Bell encapsulate what it means to live by these pillars at the highest level. I've had the great pleasure of being able to bear witness to the last four years of Zach's spiritual journey. Ultimately, this left me in awe of Zach's faith and his relationship with God. His mother Leslie shared with me one of her proudest moments of Zach. I was extremely proud when Zach stood up his freshman year at the hockey team's dinner to lead the team prayer. He was always a leader in sports and was not afraid to step up even when he was the youngest on the team. I also realized the impact that Zach had on his friends. He got some of the hockey boys to participate in a retreat, which parents shared was not like their child at all. When they returned from Kairos, they talked about the student who was most outgoing and did the best during the retreat. I was extremely proud when the families around us looked at Mike and I and said, we know that Zach, before the recipient was even named. This made us extremely proud. Not only had he been recognized by the school, but his friends and their families recognized his leadership skills and true faith. Not only does this statement highlight Zach's faith, but it also sheds a light on how he impacted the spirituality of his peers. Perhaps this is what I am most in awe of Zach about. Talking to your friends about faith in God and religion is not a typical of a young man in high school. He has served graciously, graciously as a student minister, attended and led an array of retreats, and brought to life Faith Fridays. For those of you who may not know what Faith Friday is, it is a club made up of students from all grade levels who meet weekly on Fridays at community period to read scripture, explore their spirituality, and discuss religion. When it began, there was a small group of Zach and his friends accompanied by a few faculty members. But now, it has grown to where there will regularly be 50 to 60 students meeting to discuss their faith. It has been beautiful to watch this group grow through the efforts of Zach and his friends. What is even more beautiful, though, is the passion and pride that Zach has in this organization. When I sat down with Zach to speak with him about what he wanted me to convey about him in this speech, he didn't mention his good grades, he didn't mention his accolades on the ice as a hockey player, or one of the many other achievements he has accomplished over his last four years here. No, the only thing he wanted to ensure that I talked about was Faith Fridays. This embodies who Zach is and what he stands for, a man of faith. He's able to start something or be a part of the beginning of something and like guys want to show up to it. We need more people like Zach who like, like guys like really want to be around him because he's kind and because he's like fun and um, smart and all the things that uh, that we've that we've all said. Zach does not just meet the standards for excellence, he exceeds them. The achievements Zach has obtained in his life were not handed to him and they never came easy. As a student, Zach has loaded his schedule with honors and IB courses throughout his four years. However, he has still managed to balance his rigorous academics with his other extensive obligations to achieve high honors for most of his time at St. Edward. In addition to witnessing Zach's excellence in academics, I was also lucky enough to coach him on the varsity ice hockey team for four years. Zach has always been one of the leaders on the team, regardless of his age, when it came to work ethic, attitude, and coachability. You get no thanks for a lot of, of work that is done. And, and Zach has never once, uh, in my four years of being his head coach, has ever known him to be the guy that wanted the spotlight. I don't think Zach knows what he brings to the table every day. Zach truly lived out the hockey team's motto, build the brotherhood, in the sense that this is why he was named captain for his senior year. In Zach's time as a prolific member of the hockey team, he led them to two state Final Four appearances, one state runner-up, and two Cleveland Cup champions. Eagles going fight for it, now they do. Here comes the shot, and a goal! Zach Bell getting the turnover, and a shorty for Zach Bell. Beyond his on-ice success and accolades, his most important impact to this program was his cultural impact. The way in which Zach conducted himself as a hockey player, teammate, and friend will be revered and looked to as an example of what being a St. Ed's hockey player means for years to come. I found Zach to be this incredibly warm and empathetic and who 
is very gifted at many things, but his greatest gift is his ability to just be there for somebody. When asked what her relationship with Zach was like, his mom said, Zach has always been an extremely loving child. He always wants to please us as parents. We definitely do not have a typical relationship with Zach. He is extremely mature and always has been. He's a child you can have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with, and he gets it. He's the calm, level-headed kid that actually teaches us his parents. His love for his family doesn't stop with his parents. Zach also displays a deep love for his brothers. Zach has a close relationship with both of his older brothers, who, who he has ad identified as important role models in his life, especially his brother Luke, with whom he shares a tremendous love for hockey with. Alternatively, Zach is a mentor to his younger brother Andrew. We have heard many accounts of his servant leadership, like Zach's importance to Faith Friday, his role as captain on the ice hockey team, and being a dependable friend to all members of our community. His servant leadership effort did not stop there, though. Zach was instrumental in spearheading school organizations such as Student Ministry, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and the Cross and Anchor Society. I believe his hockey coach, Jason Lewandowski, or Uncle Lev, as Zach might call him, was able to do Zach Justin when he defined Zach. A man of the year is a well-rounded person. A person of character and loyalty to not only the St. Edward community, but also his fellow be human beings. I've been witness to Zach for the last four years and know the man that is one of the high characters and always ready with a smile, kind word, and empathy for anyone who comes into contact with. The greatest thing about Zach is his self-awareness. To know Zach is to see the good and positive in life. As he graduates, it saddens me to not see him every day. To hear his laugh or to tease him about his undying loyalty to the, his Canadian national hockey team. What I'm blessed with is that Zach made me a better person. Zach made me a better coach. His wi he is wise beyond his years, and his approach to life is contagious. Zach Bell attended St. Edward to become better, and there is no doubt in my mind that Zach leaves St. Edward, making St. Edward's better. I'd like to thank Zach for letting me go on on this journey. You know, it's, it was an incredible journey for four years of, of his career at St. Ed's. He is, like, so, so beloved. Like, mm -hmm. his peers, like, want to be with him and like love to be around him and have a fun time with him. And um, it's something that like I'm able to see so clearly. It has been an honor and privilege to be able to be your coach, friend, and brother these past four years. You have made a lasting impact on me and certainly have made lasting impacts on this community. You have done your best to build the brotherhood. Wherever you end up the next year, five years from now and beyond, it will be a better place because you're there. Just be sure to begin to continue to be you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your journey, and thank you for your unwavering loyalty to this school. St. Edward Man of the Year nominee, Zachary Bell. But freedom, freedom never, greater than its owner. Freedom is the mastery of the known. Freedom, freedom.